Duchess Kate is fighting back as she doesn't expect to heal rift with Meghan over the years. Extensive coverage of Meghan Markle's appearances in the Invictus will only serve as a constant reminder of the allegations leveled against her in the backup, an expert has claimed. While Prince Harry and Meghan made headlines at the undefeated Games last week, Kate Middleton kept it up as usual. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The Princess of Wales, who has kept a dignified silence on her estranged sister-in-law's public appearances, sported a 70s-style blow-dryer, and framed her face in a cropped crop top. Just weeks after Harry and Meghan's friend Omid Scobie vowed to release another book to bring more drama to the royal family, a royal expert is weighing in on Kate's mood before she takes to the camera. Get a new insight. Journalist and commentator Duncan Larkham told OK. Magazine, Kate is not stupid. She wanted every event she was involved in to get the attention and coverage she deserved, and making sure she looked her best and performed her best was part of that. The princess looked sharp and precise during her last outing. Mr. Lacombe said she was fighting back the only way she could. He added, the Olympics mean a lot to Harry. It's one of the most important things he's ever done, and Kate can only smile and accept that this is Harry and Meghan's show. Her way of dealing with everything was to keep a dignified silence and move on. It's worked really well for her and William so far. Slow and steady wins the race. Meghan has been earning a double dose of headlines lately. First, she didn't attend the Olympic opening ceremony in Dusseldorf on September 9, but was photographed at an in and out burger drive through in California. But when the Duchess arrived in Germany, she immediately took to the stage to give a speech, accompanied by her husband. Wearing a mid-length black shirt and black stilettos, she apologized to the 1,600-strong crowd for being a little late to the party. She added that this is related to the management of redundancy procedures. Meghan wore a J. Crew blazer to a wheelchair basketball game, prompting fans to try to copy her look and crashing the J. Crew website. According to Duncan, the damage caused by the Duke and Duchess airing their dirty laundry in public was particularly painful for Kate, and the relationship will not be repaired overnight. Some of the things that Harry and Meghan have said, particularly about Kate, are very personal, and will take years to heal because of the damage that has been done, he said. It takes more than an apology to restore a relationship. I think this is likely to be compromised in the near future. Kate is still on the receiving end of these comments, and the Olympics are just another reminder of the vitriol she and William have had to endure because they can't say anything back. He noted that Kate and William could not respond in kind because of their position in the royal family. He said the Invictus would ultimately only remind Kate of all the horrible things she's been accused of. Speaking about Wales' reaction to the incident, he said their silence was more telling than it should have been, commenting, I think it's worth noting that neither William nor Kate have sent any message of support so far. That speaks to you all. You need to know their approval level.